Okay. Yeah. Now, sorry, mate, you've chosen the best spot in the house. It's my spot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Guys, come forward, have a look. Guys, first thing I should mention to you. Guys, that floor is in the open position, isn't it? Yes. Guys, the hangman pulls that big heavy iron lever on the other side, the floor just swings out from underneath the prisoner's feet. Now, do ignore that wire grill that's in the pit. It's not normally there at all. Guys, it's really only been put in as a bit of a safety thing now. Mm -hmm. Now, let's imagine, if we can, the floor's closed. Guys, it looks like a normal flat floor surface. Well, look, if you're the fella going to be hanged, you started off way down the other end of the prison in a place called Death Row. We didn't keep people on Death Row very long at Fremantle. Guys, there's no second on Death Row for 20 years. You're here quite briefly. Here for about six, six months. It's pretty quick. Turn around, guys. You've been found guilty of murder. Have an appeals process, takes about six months. Not successful, gone. Didn't mark around. Because the morning they're going to hang this guy, six o'clock in the morning, marching from death row to a building out the back called solitary confinement, put him in cell number one. Prisoner spends the last two hours of his life in cell number one. Now this is where he gets his last meal. Um, they gave him a nice new set of clothes to be hanged. Spoke to his reverend, his priest, he did those sort of things. Then after all those procedures, they then, then went off at him either, two glasses of brandy, or perhaps scotch if you prefer. Uh, this apparently was to help steady his nerves. I don't think that would work, do you? <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, they all know that at one minute to wait, there's four guards coming to get him. <laughs> Guys, it took 60 seconds to march them from cell number to witness the gallows. Guys, they brought one of the liner with them from the Perth jail. They brought the original hanging beam up there that the ropes tied off. I don't know why they did that. Other than to imagine they were a bit sentimental about it. Bought their favourite thing. What you can imagine. Guys, that old beam up there, of course, has seen a lot more hangings in this room, isn't it? Well, sort of those old convict team right before it came here. Now, the rope and noose that's attached, guys, you might be looking at that noose and thinking to yourself, gee, that noose looks a bit different to the noose I thought I'd see. It could be that over the years, we've seen a few movies, haven't we? It might feature hangings, you know, cowboy movies, westerns, all sorts of stuff, guys. And in these movies, they always feature this old noose called the hangings noose. The hangings noose was certainly the most commonly used noose. And guys, if you saw it, I'm sure you'd recognise it. In fact, it had quite deliberately it had 13 twirls of rope like that. Just above the noose, remember, it's like a big thick sleeve or something like that. I'm afraid that dreadful old hangman's noose didn't work. So I'll zoom around what's there.